Hello guys and welcome to our West Plays. Hi. Uh, today we'll be playing Thomas Was Alone. Now, first of all, lack of updates. I'm sorry for that. Second of all, this game is currently along with seven other games on the Humble Bundle Indie Pack. I hope I got that right. And uh, basically what it is, is a charity who... No, sorry, a charity... I'm not sure actually. A charity group who decided to you know, sell indie games uh, for charity. That, that's right. Now, okay, how, does, how this works is that you donate a certain amount of money and you get to choose how much you give to the developers, the charity itself, and the humble bundle people. So, yeah, it's a personal choice thing. And uh, current top donators is Notch, which is awesome. He donated like 5,000. And uh, you get 6 games if you donate, but if you donate above the average donator oh sorry if you donate more than the average donations then you get eight games two other games one of the other games is uh hotline miami yeah and one of the other bundles of six is dear esther which i'm not sure about the game and I, I never played any of them actually except for thomas was alone which is this game so a friend i didn't get it through the humble bundle however so i got it from a friend I'm not sure how he got it, but I think maybe he donated it, I don't know. So uh, yeah, I'm doing a let's play of it because he also recommended it. So yeah, let us start a new game. Okay. So I'm not gonna read it up because there's a really powerful, there's a really good narration, narrate, narrator. Holy shit, my English. Uh, So, I'm not gonna do a lot of narrating because there's a really good narrator. Was alone. Wow. A weird first thought to have. <laughs> yeah, he, he's, uh, he's Sean from Assassin's Creed, and I think he's a, I think he's a comedian, an Australian comedian. Uh, so, I'm gonna let him do the narrating, I'm just gonna add a little comments, commentary. Yeah, but I uh, heard like a lot of people wanted no commentary or something like that and I'm going to try and not talk or I'm just gonna give like a bit of comments so yeah let's get started Ooh. Thomas decided to start listing his observations for posterity one the whole alone thing. Two, portals. They led somewhere. He'd yet to work out where. Three, falling. Thomas was absolutely fantastic at falling. He was almost as good at falling as he was at observing. That was a little, a little light thing. And I'm not sure if you can hear me because I did turn this up really loud. Which, by the way, the, the music is really good in this game. It's really, really good. <clears throat> okay, interesting. Thomas couldn't fall past this block. Think, damn it, think. What if there was some kind of oh, wait. inverted fall? Some way to. What's the word? Jump. Like this? Whoa. It worked! Thomas had solved the great inverted fall mystery. Inverted fall. I guess you could call jumping a, an inverted fall, I guess. Strange way to put it, but. Yeah. A big jump. But Thomas noted there was no real danger in missing it. The world didn't want him to fail here. It was pushing him, but gently. Nudging him. But gently nudging Thomas into the right track. Eh. Yeah. This all seemed a little dangerous. The world was not to be trusted. It was, it was unstable, block, yeah. and it seemed to Thomas that it could let him down at any moment. He was starting to suspect it might even be. Wait, does the car is collecting it? Oh yeah, it does. This all seemed a little dangerous. The world was not to be trusted. Ah, it was ah. stable, 
and it seemed to Thomas that it could let him down at any moment. He was starting to suspect it might even be doing so on purpose. Man, paranoia. So this music is done by David. Shit, what was his name? Oh my god. Wow, I literally just saw the Thomas name. wondered whether the portals were actually taking him anywhere. He felt like he was making progress, but there wasn't really any way to know. He seemed to be moving predominantly up and to the right, which might or might not be important. Yay. Jump, jump, jump. So, I forgot the composer's name. He's a really good... This music is really beautiful, by the way. And... Might have been paranoia again, but Thomas could have sworn the world was becoming more complicated. It always seemed to be one step ahead of his skills. It had been... designed... just for him. He wondered why. Was the world testing him? No. Too obvious. There's this light look. There's this little light particle effect. Yeah, you can see like the shadow of Thomas. So cool. This is made by an indie company by the way, so this this all attention to detail is really commendable. So I really like in indie company stuff. Something about the boiling, toxic, glowing water intimidated Thomas. He didn't like it. He certainly didn't want to swim in it. Oh. He made another Whoops. mental note. Four. Water. Not good. To be avoided. Well, oh, I just broke that note. Just went against that note. Like an, like an idiot. Oh yay. The loneliness was getting to Thomas. No amount of observation or obsessive note taking could combat that. Aww, don't be lonely. We are here! The game, the people playing the game. Yeah, okay. That was, that was a pretty long jump. Oh, that was close. had a new theory. The world was training him. He could feel himself getting smarter. There was the mental list to consider. Over the minutes and seconds since his spontaneous generation, he'd become a pretty skilled jumper. He was evolving. He just wished oh, he had someone to share it with. There's something music. This looks like the, the, the audio thingy. You know, like the when the bass goes up, it goes like, go up as well. Oh my god. What is this dubstep? Is it like, bro, 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 bro. Hey, it really fits. Fuck. Ah, oh, hey, hey. Ah, oh, shit. Oh my god, it's so chaotic. Exit. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's like, bro, 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 bro. Oh, I'm sorry. Moving on. I'm ruining the good music. This music, man. This music. Oh, two exits. Chris took an immediate and deep dislike to the skinny red rectangle. Who the hell did this Thomas think he was? Okay, so... Okay, so Chris can't jump very high, so you have to take note of that. Chris had been doing fine. He wasn't the highest jumper, but he'd held his own. He'd even been graceful at times. Well, not actually, not technically graceful. It's probably, probably the wrong word, but you know, fine. There was that skinny little runt leaping about like he owned the place. Eh, eh, okay, I can't go out. Chris, it's so fair. Can't jump. Oh. Thank you, oh fuck. Damn it. 
Thank you, world, for creating steps. Not me. Oh, shit. I'm bad at jumping, I'm sorry. <clears throat> oh. Hey, more steps. Oh, fuck. Ow. Ever had a wall face plant your face? Like, ever had a wall face that plant itself in your face? Neither have I. Uh, uh, Chris, why are you so fat? Okay. Yay! Respawn! could get to it, which of course made it all the more enticing. What would it do? What new opportunity might this switch open up to him? Yeah. Okay, Chris is too fat. You can jump up. GG guys, GG. Yeah, I, I, I can't expect for that. Great, great. Another chance for Thomas to jump slightly higher than Chris. Seriously, this made the whole switch pressing thing entirely worthwhile. Was this good? Because on the surface, it did not seem good. Chris was pretty scared. Little Red seemed fine, happy to be on his merry little adventure. Chris couldn't shake the feeling that things had taken a significant turn for the worse since Thomas had joined him. Oh, okay. Sure, he'd been able to piggyback his way to ever so slightly higher platforms, but where had that got him? Well, to ever so slightly higher platforms, which was sort of his point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're done. Oh, fuck. Okay. Story man, the music's so Chris awesome. Chris stared at Thomas with pure hatred. He seemed so very happy at their situation. Friends together, a brave fellowship of quadrilaterals on a quest for greatness. Hey Chris, hey Chris, hey Chris, hey Chris, hey Chris. That would be fine. But it was all the obvious observation that Thomas was doing which grated. Every time they saw something vaguely new, Chris would hear a satisfied little hmm. From the vaulting idiot. Hey Chris, hey Chris, hey Chris, hey Chris, hey Chris. He hoped the next portal would split them up. If only for a few levels. Hey Chris, hey Chris, hey Chris, hey Chris. What? Sorry. Can't imagine how that sounds. That relation sounds like, okay, that wasn't bad. Yeah. goes by this way, which is probably the easier route, because Chris is dumb like that, I don't know. Okay. So, Thomas goes here. Oh, fuck. I feel like I'm torturing Thomas by accident, like, so far he hasn't, like, he's the only one who has been dying. I haven't died with Chris yet. Right side, I guess. Oh, fuck. God damn it. Oh, that's fast. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay. Yay, we're done. <laughs> it's John. John knew. He knew that this was his chance. A moment to shine. This was game day. Like there's like kind of like a ladder, the step ladder thing. This would not do. John needed room to show off his exceptional skills. As it was, he was trapped on the wrong side of these little dot things. Where did they come from, anyway? Maybe, maybe John's like kind, kind of claustrophobic. Maybe. John inhaled the air of the open space, and it smelled of awesome. Time to flex those muscles, to put his training to use time to show those little dots how it was done. John decided to press the switch to let the little dots catch up with him. John cared for his new allies. Oh. You could tell from the sympathetic expression he'd practiced in the mirror all these years. Wait, there's mirrors? How do you have expressions when you're a block? Well, you're a rectangular block of color. This is amusing. Okay, I guess Thomas has to be the step ladder again. Jump! Wee! I'm not sure how to do this puzzle now that I think about it. Oh, okay, I definitely need Thomas of this. Thomas! Go, help Chris! Oh. Oh, okay, so Chris can go on, go on himself. Okay, Thomas is too short, so... He like, can't jump that high. There we go. Yay! Okay. Uh, let me get up there. Can I jump? Oh, no, try to get from here. John okay, was happy to keep helping. He felt it was important to his image that he was seen to help the little guys. Okay. We actually know John moves a bit in outside, so fuck. Okay, I, I forgot about their heights. Chris needs like two people to stand on. Like Chris needs both of them to stand on each other so they can jump. Why is it so useless? Okay, Chris. Chris is like a burden. Such a burden. Burden. Oh my god. Yeah, okay, no burden. No burden. Seriously, I don't really like playing as Chris. But, just don't have a choice. Fuck. 
Seriously? Just jump over that thing. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, Chris. It's such a pain in the ass, dude. Oh my god, okay. Um, I doubt Chris is getting on that, so... We probably have to stop, stack, stack up again. No! Wait! No. He didn't mind them so much either. The red one, Thomas, had a charming way of applauding every time John jumped. Hey, wait, John, Chris is stuck. Geronimo! Yay! Oh fuck! No! Ah, oh, damn it. I thought I could stack them all at once. Eh, yay. Ooh. Little square thing. The angry orange one was less immediately likeable, but his unremitting cynicism yeah. and tutting amused John. Getting all the achievements that I missed. Really? Oh shit, I have to like stack out again. Chris button! Jump here, yeah, okay. Thank god for that. Let me come up again. Okay. Rapify. Oh. Oh, that's cool, okay. Okay. So we stack them all again. Chris, brother. Eh, okay. Damn it. My Thomas is too short to jump that one. Get a to the exit. What level is this? Oh, okay. This was interesting. A floating target. This would require coordination, balance, and timing. John was sure the dots would be lost, but he was happy to guide them to triumph. I don't need your help, says Thomas. I don't need your help. Wait, no. John has to go on the side, then. Thomas just jumped off, oh, fucking hell. You know what, let's just let... Let's let Chris Maybe cross. that's what the dots were for. They were there to extend John's reach to make his performance even more impressive. John liked the thought. He decided to keep them. It makes it sound like Thomas and Chris are like both his pets. Okay, it's uh, 20 levels. I think I should stop here because... Yeah, if it's too long, I, I'll be... It'll, it'll take a long time to edit. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna stop here. Read this. So, this was how Claire would die. Okay, get rid of We're gonna stop here. Okay, so. Yay, title screen. Okay, thank you guys for watching. The indie, the humble bundle in the pack is still up for donations. If, so, if you wanna donate, I'll put a link down below. I am in no way sponsored by them. I am just doing this because. I'm just pointing out the name because it's actually a really, it's actually a good way to get 
via the games. You can help the node, you can help the developers, you can help the charity with a donation. And uh yeah, you can have fun playing the games. You have about six games, indie game they're all indie games. So yeah, you support the developers and you help charity and uh, it's a fun way to burn time. Uh, it's currently the holidays here, so yeah, it's a good way to spend your holidays playing games. And uh, yeah, I guess this is all for today. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, like and favorite if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to see more videos like this. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Part 1.